Stadium in the center of the ring, which is where the championship bout took place between Bethune Cookman University and South Carolina State University. Just this past weekend on a BCU homecoming weekend, this is the BCU Wildcat Football Insider Show. Hi, everybody. I'm Brian Harvey. I'm filling in for Lynn Thompson today, but the man that's going to be my pilot today, carrying me through, is right here. Brian Jenkins. Coach, how are you? I'm doing good. Doing good, Brian. Coach, championship bout. You said it the whole time. This was going to be a slugfest. It was right. going to be a brawl. And, Coach, it was everything you lived up to be. Definitely. We knew it was going to be a tough match, you know, and we, we were ready for it. And we were up for it. And I told everybody, you know, leading up to this thing that I was very excited about this matchup and looking forward to it. Coach, you mentioned that excitement in the post-game press conference. You don't say you get excited often, but, Coach, you said it leading into it you were excited, and you said afterwards you were excited. What was it that really excited you about this game other than the victory? Well, you got a chance to, to play one of the top teams in the conference and, and go against one of the top coaches. And any time you can take your program and measure it against a team su such as South Carolina State and uh, come out with a victory, you got to be excited about that. Coach, a good victory indeed, but what was it that really sparked you guys? It had to be the fans. Oh, definitely, definitely. To, 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 first, it started with the legacy walk. I mean, it was unbelievable. It was unreal. And, and seeing the amount of people there cheering us on and, and just proud of, of the young men was great. And then seeing the fans uh, in their stands, having this stadium packed and loud was tremendous as well. well Coach, we're going to get back to that just in a second. But right now, we got a highlight package we're going to throw it to, and we'll be back right here. Backfield, Q rolls out, he's under pressure, he throws it, picked up! Intercepted at the 20-yard line, and the Wildcats are in business. The backfield rolls out, the throw comes this way, it's complete to Jontavius Carter. He wins out, Williams wants to throw. Complete left side, is that Eddie Poole across the 35, and the first down near the 40-yard line. Rolls to his right, he's got the receiver the near side, it's caught across midfield. Williams wants to throw, he's got some time, launches left side, Eddie Poole toward the end zone, pounded at the one-yard line, and that's where he is down. Quentin Williams calls for the ball. Takes the snap, wants to throw, under pressure, screen pass, left side, Jackson, got it, toward the end zone, touchdown, Wildcats. Great job, great screen pass. Both teams undefeated in the MEAC. Q takes the snap and pitches to Tyler McDonald, cutting in front of him, and Q will hand off to Taylor. He's hit right at the line and piled up. I don't think he got it, fourth down. And Quentin Williams with Isidore Jackson in the backfield, four receivers out in the pattern. Here's the snap. Throw over the middle, the 20-yard line is caught for a first down snap. Back to throw, a little screen pass left to Jackson, 15, 20, got some room. Across the 30, 35, cuts it back up the numbers of 40, 45. Breaks the tackle across midfield and is into uh, South Carolina State territory. Back to throw is Williams, dumps it out of the backfield to White. White across the 30, down to the 25. Here's the handoff left side to White, breaks across the 15, down near the 10. And Quentin Williams has White behind him, he wants to throw, rolls to his right. Oh, he's got a receiver open. But he's going to try to keep it. Run for the end zone. Dives. He gets in. The touchdown. The ball came out, but it was after he broke the plane, and the Wildcats lead it 13 to nothing. Waters will hold. The kick is on the way, and it's good. 14 nothing. The Wildcats lead it. The Q hands off to Taylor. He is going to be brought down for a loss. A Q on second and 12 will complete the pass in the backfield to McDonald, but he will get nowhere. Pool down near the bottom. Williams takes a snap, got pressure. Lost toward Pool first down, 37-yard line, and knocked out of bounds. A great the backfield. This is Taylor. Taylor is hit at the line. Red offense for South Carolina State. Again, it's Taylor left side, and he gets back to the line of scrimmage. That's all. And so a big third two now for South Carolina State at the Wildcat 42. They'll run head on into the line. Taylor, he's close, but I don't think he got it. And they will snap the ball and and in the backfield, in the backfield and drop. So I don't get too excited about any plays in football, but I am excited about that one. Second and nine for the Wildcats. Williams takes the snap, hands off to Kerry White. White's got the first down. The throw is Q. Double pumps, now launches down the left sideline. It's intercepted. It's picked off on the far sideline by Nick Addison. Right around the 
one yard line, first and ten, Wildcats. In his face, loose snap is blocked! It's blocked and out of bounds at the 30 yard line, and the Wildcats turn South and Carolina State away. Ability. Back to throw is Williams over the middle, caught Andy Cool 17, 20, first down, 25. Here's the handoff up the middle toward the end zone, diving no. Ball is loose. Wildcats say they have it. It is a fumble recovered in the end zone. Snap and throw it to Jackson off left side. Jackson across 20, 25. Got some room. 30, first down. Williams wants to throw. Launches it down over the middle into traffic. Oh, it's caught! It's caught for a first down by Eddie Poole near the 49-yard line. Jackson off the right side. Cutting it back up the middle of the 40, 35, 30. Down to the 26-yard line. Another first down. And throw again. He's got some pressure. Now it's flushed out of the pocket. It's going to try to run for it. Linebacker comes up and says, not on my watch. Larry Kelly here at Ritchie Cadillac, inviting you to stop by and discover why Cadillac is the top-selling luxury brand in Volusia and Flagler counties. Cadillac CTS has the performance, design, and luxury that make Cadillac a luxury brand leader. The CTS family has been named to Car and Driver's 10 Best List four years in a row and also has a five-star safety rating. Test drive the Cadillac CTS today at Ritchie Cadillac on Nova Road in Daytona Beach or visit us online at RitchieAutos.com. Welcome to my place. Get in the game. Get in the game at Vince Carter's LPGA Boulevard at I-95, Daytona Beach. The Mideastern Athletic Conference, 13 institutions, all bringing the dreams of our student athletes to light. A premier NCAA Division I conference. We deliver excellence across the spectrum. Uniting the diverse pursuits and talents of all our student athletes with the power of respect. For together, we are the Mideastern Athletic Conference, achieving the dream. Do you want to wear what the real Wildcats wear? You can get your official BCU Wildcat team gear from the comfort of your own home online at bcusportshop.com. The official online store of BCU Wildcat Athletics. Save your gas money. Avoid the hassles in the mall. Click on bcusportshop.com and get the best in Wildcat wear delivered to you in just 48 hours. bcusportshop.com, the official Wildcat online store. Back here in the center of the ring after the championship bout between Bethune-Cookman and South Carolina State, we're here at Municipal Stadium. Cats come away with a 14-3 victory over South Carolina State in a BCU homecoming weekend. It was one to remember, folks. I'm Brian Harvey in for Lynn Thompson once again, joined here by head coach Brian Jenkins. Coach, you started the Legacy Walk. It was your baby, but this week you had something special for everyone. You brought in someone very special to your program. Right, right. We brought Jamal Cooper back. And then Jamal Cooper's a young man who uh, tore both patella tennis in August and lost his ability to walk. Uh, doctors said he was going to be restricted to a wheelchair for the next six to eight months. But somehow this young man, through his will and faith, he's defied all odds, and uh, he, he started back walking in three months. So uh, I thought it was only fair to bring him back to a special occasion such as this. And I tell you what, it was that last little bit of jolt we needed to get our guys going. Coach, emotion right from the beginning, emotion carried to the field, it carried the kickoff, it carried through the game. Let's talk about the game a little bit. Right from the very beginning, offense seemed to set the tone just a little bit. Isidore Jackson missed a slip screen there, but Coach, it showed you you can move the ball on this defense. Yeah, it did. It did. It showed that we could move the ball against one of the toughest defenses in the conference, and uh, it was a complete effort by uh, our entire offense. And uh, we did some things in this game that hopefully people will take notice of, you know, and that's throwing the ball. I mean, we threw the ball very well, and Q operated the offense at a high level, which we knew he would. And we had total confidence that we wouldn't have in trouble doing the things that we did Saturday. Quentin Williams, 220 yards passing. 
plus 100 of those to the man Buddy Pugh said he had to stop, but he just right. could not for yet another year, Eddie Poole. Right, Eddie Poole. Uh, you know, everybody knows Eddie is Mr. Consistency, and uh, that that's the great thing about him. I mean, he has a 40-plus game uh, streak of catching a ball, and, uh, and, you know, he, and he's a true competitor. So whenever you got a guy that, that's consistent and a true competitor, then you got a guy that's going to make plays. And the thing about Eddie is, you know, he plays bigger, the bigger the stage that he has to play on. And, and, and that's an exceptional thing to have. Five catches, 100 plus yards for Eddie Poole, but also, Coach, great ground attack. You mixed it up well again. Isidore Jackson, Kerry White, that is a backfield that you just can't stop. Right, and that just goes to show um, the job that Coach Denson is doing. Coach Pry had an exceptional game plan. Coach Powers had the O-line prepared to block. Coach Wall McCray had the tight ends all tuned in. And Coach DJ had the, uh, had the wide receivers, you know, ready to make plays through the air. So it, it's just a total team effort, you know, coaching staff and players. And, and they just did an exceptional job. Coach, that's the offense. Now let's move to the side of the ball. Everyone knew what's going to happen. If you thought this was going to be a high school affair coming in with two of the top defenses in the nation, you were crazy. Coach, that defense is vaunted. Only 78 yards passing by right. Richard Q from South Carolina State. Less than 100 yards rushing again from your defense. What is it? Well, I think those guys did an exceptional job of dissecting their opponent and learning every movement that they were going to make, um, having the adjustments ready, and uh, just, just knowing their tendencies. And we were able to pick up on some other things off of watching film, you know, that I won't mention. But it just helped our defense get prepared. And Coach Jones had a great game plan. And Coach Sims, Coach Williams, and Coach Earl had the rest of the troops all rallied and tuned in. And they just went out and operated and played Wildcat football. Coach, talk about some of those players now real quick. Jarkivas Fields, Tavares, Danzler, Nick Addison. And then you look at the defensive line. A guy like Ronnie Barrow is coming into his own. Coach, this defense is becoming vicious. Right, it is. But it, the one thing about it is, if you look at it, you mentioned several individuals. So that lets you know that they're playing as a unit. And as long as we can play as a unit, then I, I think we could be a force to be reckoned with. Coach, you said still yet to play a complete game. I know one of those areas you want to tweak just a little bit is probably penalties, 11 for 111 yards. Right. That really led to the only score South Carolina State had putting from your own end zone. It did. That as well as, you know, uh, some, some failure in the special teams area. And uh, if we could put together a, a, a complete game, you know, it would be very exciting to see how good this football team could be. When we come back to the BCU Wildcat Football Insider, we're going to talk with Terrence Gatlin of the Cat Eye Network as he steps outside to the tailgate lots to experience what BCU homecoming is really about outside the gridiron. Welcome to my place. Get in the game. Get in the game at Vince Carter's, LPGA Boulevard at I-95, Daytona Beach. Larry Kelly here at Ritchie Cadillac, inviting you to stop by and discover why Cadillac is the top selling luxury brand in Volusia and Flagler counties. Cadillac CTS has the performance, design, and luxury that make Cadillac a luxury brand leader. The CTS family has been named to Car and Driver's 10 best list four years in a row, and also has a five-star safety rating. Test drive the Cadillac CTS today at Ritchie Cadillac on Nova Road in Daytona Beach. Or visit us online at RitchieAutos.com. Do you want to wear what the real Wildcats wear? You can get your official BCU Wildcat team gear from the comfort of your own home online at BCUSportsShop.com. The official online store of BCU Wildcat Athletics. Save your gas money. Avoid the hassles in the mall. Click on bcusportshop.com and get the best in Wildcat wear delivered to you in just 48 hours. bcusportshop.com, the official Wildcat online store. The Mideastern Athletic Conference, 13 institutions, all planned to win with dignity on and off the field. Sportsmanship, it's more than planned by the rules. It's planned smart. It's not just winning. It's taking each loss as a lesson. It's about respect for your opponent, for yourself. Because the game isn't just about the score. For our student athletes, the goal isn't just a line on the field. It goes beyond. The Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference. Sportsmanship is the way to play. Ryan Lewis, Gene Fenua, and you watching the BCU Wildcat Insider. Go Cats. Go Cats. Hey, Wildcat.
Wildcat football fans, I'm Terrence Gatling, and I am here live outside the Municipal Stadium. It's football time, but first it's going to be tailgate time. The Wildcat football fans are out here doing their thing. They're cooking. They're having a good time. So I'm going to take it step by step, 10 by 10 if I can, and take some of the things that the Wildcat fans have to offer. I have my aluminum foil ready. You never go to a tailgate party without your aluminum foil. So you have something to offer. Don't tell them that. I'm just, I just want to take plates home. So follow me. We're going to have a good time. Let's go see what the Wildcats have to offer for food. Before every football game, the football team actually has a pregame meal. Well, I'm standing outside one of the fan buses right now, actually the alumni bus, where they have a pregame meal also. It's a tailgate party, and I'm going to go, I'm going to talk to some people, but most of all, I'm going to see if I can get a plate. Follow me. Let's go. Hey, I'm here with Jimmy Mincy from Orlando, Florida. How does it feel to be waiting for the game between BCU and South Carolina State? Outstanding. Outstanding. We are here to have a good time, feed the family, feed the friends, and go and win this game. Now, what time did you get out here this morning to cook? About 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Do you have any food for me? Oh, yeah. yeah. OK. Pl plenty of food. Plenty, plenty food. food. Plenty, plenty food. Plenty food. Yeah. Plenty. All right. Real and everything. OK, out here at this tailgate, where are people from? Well, we got some people from uh, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, uh, Lake City, Orlando, Florida, and Valdosta, Georgia. and. St. Cloud. <laughs> we, we're covering the state of Florida, the, the state of Georgia. They are from everywhere coming down the tailgate. So everybody's representing across the state of Florida. I'm going to represent right now on this plate that Jimmy has for me, OK? Yes, we'll yes. be right back. <laughs> now, everybody that knows me knows that I love macaroni and cheese. One of my former teammates, Travis Roland Mom, they said she makes the best in Volusia County. So I'm going to go over and check it out right now, OK? This is the show that the people came to see. Let's go see. Mom, mom, mom up, pull it, pull it back. Real quick, while they get the plate and everything in motion, I want to introduce you guys to Travis Roll. Come on, Travis. Let's get on camera real quick. This is my teammate. We're not going to tell y'all when we played here, right. but we played here, OK? Look at this guy right here. All right, bring the camera back. We ain't with it. I don't know what he's doing here. I don't know how he got here. OK, there you go. Just a taste. Mom, hold this real quick. Introduce yourself. I am Rose Roland. I am the mother of Travis Roland. Uh, football player from Bethune-Cookman University, and I am also an alumni of Bethune-Cookman University. Mom got that, okay? Hey, what's your name? Say it, Hopper, stop, Hopper. And what you want to say? Say, go Wildcats. Go Wildcats. All right, now show you the pump. And I have the Cubcats in back of me. As you can see, they're cheering right now. They're having a good time. They're at every home football game. Let's take a listen to them a little bit. I love to see a big man that's a Kappa. That means he was doing something right when it came to doing something. Also, I ain't no Kappa's cook, man. Yeah, man, we always cooking. We do a little bit of everything. It's about achievement in every field, man. So what y'all got going on out here? What, what you got on the grill? Man, we just got a little chicken. Next thing you know, we're going to throw some hot dogs and hamburgers. Y'all welcome to come back and, you know, eat a little something if you want. We definitely going to come back and eat a little something. We're out here from tailgate to tailgate. I'm resting right now in a nice, comfortable BCU Wildcat chair. They got the table. They got everything going on. Wildcats from far and near. Where you guys from? Daytona. Daytona Beach. They came from down the street all the way to Municipal Stadium. I'm here, what I thought was the New Age tailgate, because I didn't see anything cooking. You know, I just saw a lot of ladies over here trying to be cute and have a good time. Look at her. She's not doing any tailgating. But they do have a grill back here, and they're doing it. I see hamburgers and hot dogs on the grill. And the young lady here is with the Cubcats. I'm going to give her a chance to introduce herself. I'm going to get out your way. Hi, I'm Christine, Emma's mom. Go Emma! Cubcat! <laughs> hey, I'm here with my fellow Miamian, Terrence. We also share the same name. <laughs> and we both are alumni at BCU. The difference today is that I'm just out here looking the part. He's out here actually doing it. He has the grill smoking and everything. Terrence, tell us what you have up under that grill. Well, I have my specialty. I have my ribs that I died for. Ooh. Got some chicken going on there. We kind of cook it slow. How long you been grilling? Man, I've been grilling all my life. I know everybody says that, but I have. <laughs> I 
Hey, I'm here with David. He's from Sanford, Florida. David and his crew have something very special that they want to share with us. It's kind of secret. They're only doing it for BCU Insider. David, tell us about it. Tell us. Something. I just want to let you guys know that um, we're here today to celebrate the homecoming. And um, at the same time, we did our thing down on the grill. But what I really want to talk about is look out for this stuff right here real soon. It's going to be called G's Barbecue Sauce. It's the best thing coming today. G's Barbecue Sauce. Are, are, are you going to tell us what's in it? Look at him, he's giving away the secrets. You're not supposed to give away the secret. What's fake me? What's don't give away the secret? You keep it enough. I was gonna tell you it was just barbecue sauce in it. That's all. <laughs> Y'all see, it's hot. Larry Kelly here at Richie Cadillac, inviting you to stop by and discover why Cadillac is the top selling luxury brand in Volusia and Flagler counties. Cadillac CTS has the performance, design, and luxury that make Cadillac a luxury brand leader. The CTS family has been named to Car and Driver's 10 best list four years in a row and also has a five star safety rating. Test drive the Cadillac CTS today at Richie Cadillac on Nova Road in Daytona Beach or visit us online at richieautos.com. Welcome to my place. Come on, get in the game. Get in the game at Vince Carter's LPGA Boulevard at I-95 Daytona Beach. The Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference, 13 institutions, all bringing the dreams of our student athletes to light. A premier NCAA Division I conference. We deliver excellence across the spectrum, uniting the diverse pursuits and talents of all our student athletes with the power of respect. For together, we are the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference, achieving the dream. Do you want to wear what the real Wildcats wear? You can get your official BCU Wildcat team gear from the comfort of your own home online at bcusportshop.com. The official online store of BCU Wildcat Athletics. Save your gas money. Avoid the hassles in the mall. Click on bcusportshop.com and get the best in Wildcat wear delivered to you in just 48 hours. bcusportshop.com, the official Wildcat online store. I'm here with the ladies of Delta Sigma Theta, and they have something that they want to say. I'm sorry, the tantalizing ladies of Delta Sigma Theta. They have something they want to say to you. We are the tantalizing, mesmerizing 26. We play as Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated in 1983. We are celebrating how many years? 30 years! Ooh! All right, ladies. Welcome back to the BCU Wildcat Football Insider Show. I'm Brian Harvey sitting in for Lynn Thompson here with Brian Jenkins. Coach, let's talk about your players of the game real quick. We already mentioned them a little bit. Jarkivas Fields, Tavares Danzler, Eddie Poole. Talk about those three players and what they did specifically this week to get you guys over the hump, 14-3 victory. Well, Jarkivas Fields did it what he does every week. You know, he led that defense. You know, he made the calls and got everybody lined up and got everybody ready to play, you know. And, and Danzler is, is a relentless player. And, I mean, he plays like that every down. He plays every down to the fullest. And it was great to see him fully healthy and out there running around. And, of course, like I say, Eddie Poole, you know, Mr. Consistency, his, his actions and his performance speaks for itself. Coach, a lot of people may look at Jarkivas and say, oh, he's not putting up 100 tackles plus this year, mm -hmm. special uh, preseason defensive play of the year. But, Coach, that defense, it's much like the offense, it's spreading around. The love is getting everywhere. Absolutely. If you got just one guy making all the plays, then you're limited. And we don't have that. Uh, we're fortunate enough to have many guys that make many plays and make each other better. So Fields is doing exactly what we want him to do, and that's lead that defense, get everybody lined up so they can play to the full. Tavares Danzler, a guy that many people coming into the season said, this could be a kid with a breakout season. You knew it. Right, absolutely. You know, he was a little hampered early with a little nick and bruise there, but now that he's 100%, he's all out, and you're seeing the effects of it. And as you said before, Eddie Poole, steady Eddie. Steady Eddie. That's enough said on him. Coach, let's go around the MEAC a little bit. Let's start in Tallahassee. Tough game. North Carolina anti FAMU. FAMU gets the score with 30 seconds left, misses the extra point, goes to overtime, anti with the victory. That... 
it, it seems like, fam, you can't get out of their own way. Yeah, it seems like it. But, you know, those guys are going to keep keep working to get it done. And, and uh, you know, we'll see how the season ends up for them. Norfolk State, Old Dominion, tougher game than people expected. ODU moving up a league this year. But, Coach, Norfolk State and Pete Adrian does what he does, defense. Right, you can never count Pete Adrian out. I mean, Pete's an old vet that's going to compete, you know, every every weekend and week out and have his teams ready to play. So it didn't surprise me that they hung in there and almost got the job done against Old Dominion. Don Rose and Hampton, Coach, people were turning the lights out on them a couple games in this season. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, that flicker is on, and coach, it's three games in a row all of a sudden for Hampton. Right, right, and people who turn the lights out on Don Rose don't know Don Rose then. Don Rose is a quiet assassin, and he's gonna go about his, his work very quietly and prepare his team, and now you're seeing the effects of, of what, you know, how good of a coach he is. Coach, North Carolina Central, Savannah State, they come down to Savannah, Central gets a big win, probably needed that coming off there, a couple of tough losses against South Carolina State and then Morgan State, but coach, big win for North Carolina Central on the road. Right, it was a big win. Anytime you can go on the road and win is big. So, you know, I know they're gonna try to carry that momentum into the game against us. Coach, right now, sitting on top of the league right now, 4-0, followed by South Carolina State, but then Hampton, then Delaware State, Central, and Morgan State. Coach, there's a lot of teams log piling right there for that second place, but right now, being on top by one game, that has to feel good. Well, it does. It feels good but you know things are not complete yet more heavyweight battles down the stretch and and we're just going to continue to do what we do in order to hopefully close the show hampton's won three games in a row coach that's a team that you kind of have to look out for they're coming here coach still like you said lots of football that's one of the teams down the stretch definitely definitely lots of football you know and uh and they're a good football team and coach rose is a good coach but right now our main focus is on north carolina central right now when you do hold that one edge lead over south carolina state what do you have to say to the team now to say hey guys let's put that game behind us, as you always say, stay in the moment. Right. Stay in the moment. That game is gone. We're already preparing for, for North Carolina Central, and we're already in our preparation phase for them. So uh, we're not thinking about South Carolina State, what we did well or what we did bad. We're already, like I say, preparing for our next opponent, which is North Carolina Central. So North Carolina Central, Saturday in Durham, O'Kelly Riddick Stadium. You know it's going to be a raucous crowd. ESPN broadcast. Talk about what this game is going to do for your team as well now getting back on TV, a spotlight you're used to. Right, we're, we're used to that. I mean, we're going to treat this game the same as every other game. We're not going to add anything to it or take anything away from it. You know, we think they're a good ball club, and we're going to prepare for another heavyweight fight uh, like the one we just came out of. That's it for us here today, folks. Cat Eye Radio, if you cannot make it to the game this weekend, make sure to go to Cat Eye Network, Cat Eye Radio, ESPN Broadcast. We need your support. For Brian Jenkins, I'm Brian Harvey filling in for Lynn Thompson. Thank you for joining us on the BCU Wildcat Football Insider. It's the Cats. It's the Eagles. Saturday, high noon contest in Durham on ESPN News and Cat Eye Radio. We'll see you next week.